Jeez Louise. Houston, do we ever have a problem? All right. What do we have going on here? Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today I'm going to tell you a story. It's not going to be a... I mean, it's going to be a bee video, and it's a story about bees. It's actually a story about what I've done today. But it's not going to be the same kind of bee video that I always, I always put out here, because today wasn't the same kind of day that I always have. See, I planned on coming out today and doing a very quick video. All I was going to do is cover the vent holes in all of my hives with some screen door screen, a little bit tighter than the screen that I've got covering the vent holes because I believe the hive beetles are going in through my vent holes, which have eighth inch hardware cloth on it. Hive beetles can get right in. And I think that's how they're getting in my hives because I still believe that the Guardian works. I've seen it work. I've watched beetles fly up and not be able to get in and fly away. But the goal was to come out here with some hot glue, some screen door screen around the inside of each one of the, the control boxes to keep the, the hive beetles out. And then I was going to go through the little green nuke and see if we had a queen. I was going to, if we didn't have a queen, find a frame of brood in all stages of development and put that in the hive. And I was going to introduce those bees to that nuke via a method that I heard about in the comments. A couple of people have suggested that I should just shake some bees onto the landing board or onto a piece of cardboard or ramp in front of the little blue nuke and the foraging bees, the worker bees, the bees that would attack the bees inside of the colony would all fly back to their colony and the nurse bees who can't yet fly would march right up into the hive and there you go. Everything was going to be good. Well, it didn't work out that way. So let me tell you what happened. Basically, this chair is sinking. My chair is sinking in the ground. Anyways, so I started with the I started with the screen. I was going to glue it into the top of the boxes, and I found out that gluing screen over hardware cloth inside of a bee box is not only hard to film it's hard to do it the, the the glue and the screens are bending and and the glue is not penetrating both of them and it takes too long to dry and it's hot and i'm getting napalm all over my fingers that was no good so i decided that i will have to do that with a stapler i will have to come back with a staple and staple that in that's what we're going to do, just not now and probably not on camera because I don't think it's going to make for a good video. Um, but again, today was going to be quick and dirty. I was going to do one, finish up the rest off camera, and then go to the little green nuke. So after I did that, I decided, okay, let's go to the little green nuke. So I went to the little green nuke. And in the little green nuke, I found that we did not have a queen. No surprise there. I didn't really think we were going to have a queen little queen cell that they made really it wasn't there there was no queen i don't know whether she hatched they tore it down and she's on a mating flight but i don't think there's a queen in there anyways after that i decided what i need to do is go find a frame of eggs i'm going to get some eggs from one of the other hives preferably one of the hives in the front row because they're all doing well i mean every no one in the front row has any problems so i thought so I went looking for a frame of eggs. The first hive that I went into was the Crynock hive. I thought the pink hive, I thought the, the Crynock bees, they're kind of scatterbrained and, they, and they, I think they might be Russian lineage because I've seen Vino Farms Russian bees and they kind of draw comb out weird and they do all kinds of weird things and I think the Crynock bees are, are Russians. Anyways, that's beside the point. I thought for sure there's going to be some eggs in there. I'll, I'll abscond with a frame of eggs. I will shake them off onto a piece of cardboard in front of the little green nuke. They will march in and the problem will be solved. The video will be over. I'll say goodbye. I'll see you next week. And I would sit up on my porch and have something to drink. Well, it didn't work that way. I went into the Crynock hive and let me tell you, it's got one completed super already it's done it's ready to be harvested but i left it on the hive 
that's neither here nor there. I, I stripped the hive all the way down to the brood chamber to look for the queen because I don't want to take the queen out of that box and put it in a little green nuke. I just want a frame of eggs. The first thing I see is this, this hive, this, this hive has got honey frames that are drawn to the max, just huge. And as I went through the box, I noticed they're storing a lot of honey down in the brood chamber but I don't see any capped brood at all as I go through. Well, finally I get to the second to the last of the last frame and I find a frame with some eggs on it. And I also find a frame with the queen running around on it. So I know they have a laying queen now. I guess it was, they made a new queen like I thought they were going to. And she went out on a mating flight, came back. She just started laying eggs. Everything is good but there was no brood there that I could abscond with. They had one frame with eggs on it. The queen was on the same frame. I left it in the, in the hive, closed it up, and uh, we're ready to go. The pink hive is in good shape, although no eggs that I could take. So then I decided, okay, I'm just gonna go into the purple hive right next door. Why I've moved too far away, I've just gotta get a frame of eggs. It's gonna be easy. So I go into the purple hive and I take off the control box with the, with the fans in it and I look and I see what looked like brood. All right, so what we want in here is a frame of brood. still seeing brood in there. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're drawing this out. Nothing here. Nothing happening here. This hive, holy moly, this hive is in bad shape. I think my queen is in that middle box. Oh no, I have brood right here. Okay, well, this is better. Oh, what do we have here? This looks like all drone brood. And I do not see a queen. Oh man, I tell you what, this is turning into a uh, not a good day. I need to find the queen in this hive. See, there is more drone brood. Everything is drone brood. I don't have a queen in here. There is a laying worker happening, I think. Oh my goodness. We're going to go through this box because I see some eggs in here and I shouldn't. There shouldn't be any eggs in this box, and I can see capped drone brood through here. Okay, here is honey and... And I've got larvae up here. Look at there. Look at there. I've got a laying worker. Yeah, this is the worst. Now, I've been here before. This is a laying worker situation. Pretty confident that that's what's going on because the same thing happened to Red Dawn. I mean, there were, there were eggs all over the hive. They were abo above the queen excluder and they were below the queen excluder. There are multiple bees laying eggs in that hive and none of them are a queen. So my solution this time, I went to my shop and I got some hardware cloth, eighth inch hardware cloth, the same thing that I'm trying to keep the beetles from flying through. Anyways, I cut out a piece big enough to fit over an eight frame hive. And I took, now I don't know whether this is a workable solution. I don't know whether it's going to be a, a good solution. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna let me know in the comments, but this is what I did. It seemed like the thing to do. Now we're going to put this nice new box right there nothing in it 
No queen, no brood, no anything. All right, now, now we are going to go and get the pine queen. Before we put her in there, we want some of her own troops in there. Like right there. We're going to put her right there. Make sure we're seeing her go in there again. Where is she? Okay, there she is. There's our Pine Queen. We're going to drop her right down in the middle of this box. Grab another frame of her troops. So her pheromone is going to be very strong in here. Okay, now putting some hardware cloth. This way the bees cannot get through this. Now, now we are going to take. their least adulterated box and put it right there. This box, this box is going to have the weakest laying worker pheromone in it. And then I'm going to place a queen excluder just in case there's a queen in that upper box and all of those weren't brood cells. I want to make sure that I can keep the two queens apart. But I'm pretty certain there's not a queen in this box. Okay, so now we're putting the queen excluder on there. So our queen has food, she has nectar, she has nurse bees. The foragers that are out right now from this hive, the ones that are not laying workers, they're going to come back and they're going to go in here. And they're going to bring food to their queen. Okay. Now this box can go up here. Remember, we've got metal, queen excluder. This is a box of drone brood and honey. We're going to leave this on here. So I hope this works out. It's the first time I've ever done this. I've never seen it done before. But we have a queen in this box now with a bunch of her own crew members. The, the goal, the thought, what I think is going to happen is I think that the bees with the laying workers up above with no exit out of the hive, they have no way of getting out. All they can do is live on the resources they have in there. I will give them a top entrance next week, but they're kind of stuck above with the pheromone from the new queen permeating the hive. I'm hoping that that will shut off the laying workers necessity to lay. Maybe even turn some of the bees that are in the hive against the laying workers and kill them so that the queen's pheromone permeates the hive and they accept the new queen. I can pull the, the boxes apart, set it up the right way so that they can all adopt the new queen as their new queen and the problem will be solved. And at the same time, I am hoping that the bees that come back from foraging accept her and move down into the bottom box with her and everything is good. I'm not going to check this hive again for another week. So next week, I'll go out and check that hive and, and see what's happening. The deep that was part of that hive has now been moved to the back bench. I gave them a pseudo bottom board because I don't have one right now and a lid and they are going to sit back there and I believe any of the foragers that are in that box will leave because I did leave them an exit. They will leave, fly around and go right back into 
the purple box up front with the new queen and everything should be good, which should leave me with just the laying workers, some of the laying workers back in this box, and those will be the bees that I dispose of, those and all of the all of the drones. Or I may try to if the if the smash on the purple hive works, I may try to introduce the queen from the teal resource hive into that box and see if we can't get her pheromone moving through that box and create another hive. So after all of that was done, I think that problem is solved. I hope it is. It's another laying worker. It's really hard to deal with. It really means I'm probably not going to get any honey or very much honey from the purple hive this year. That's okay. I'd rather just have a healthy hive. But that leaves me with still having to find a queen or a uh, frame of eggs that can be made into a queen for the little green nuke. I still have not solved that problem. So I decide to come down the line and I go to the white hive. The white hive, I can go in there. I know that they're going to be in good shape. I'm going to be able to find a frame of eggs fairly quickly, give them to the green nuke and call it a day because it's been a long day. I actually had to clear off these memory sticks once and, and bring them back out and put them in the camera just so that I could record this because I ate up my memory sticks, 128 gigs on each camera, completely shot with all of this today. But I open up the white hive and I'm going through the white hive. And now I'm fortunate that I don't see any laying workers. That's a good sign. I see brood in there. That's a good sign. I don't see a queen initially in there. That's a bad sign. And then I see queen cells, several queen cells, several queen cells that have been chewed out. And then I see one queen cell that's really, really big that has not been chewed out. It looks like it hadn't been chewed out. And I left that aside because that's the frame that I, if I can't find any brood that is in larva or egg stage, I'm going to take that frame to the little green nuke. I continued to look and I actually did find a brand new queen on one of the frames, on the second to the last frame in the white box. So we know that there's a queen in there. Those girls are bringing in honey. We are going to be able to get a harvest from them this year. Um, and I think all is going to be good, but I did not find any eggs that I could take and put into the little green nuke. So what I did do is I took the large queen cell that looks like it had been chewed out or they're starting to chew it out. I could see a couple of wings in there. I took that and put that in the little green nuke. And I did shake them off in front, shook that frame off in front of the hive and let the workers fly back. And it seems like all I was left with are nurse bees. And I tried to let them march, but they were just kind of out front fanning and looked like they were afraid. They didn't want to go into that hive. They knew it wasn't their pheromone in there. or Maybe there was no pheromone in there. So I eventually just picked them up off the cardboard and shook them in, but I think it's going to be okay because inside there was the frame that they were on that had their queen cell on it. Now I'm hoping that the same thing happens in the little green nuke. I almost said the little blue nuke. And the little green nuke that happened to the pine side of the resource hive I'm hoping that that queen cell has not been stabbed and I'm hoping that that queen cell patches and all is good with the world. And if that does not happen, what I will do tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, but what I will do next week is we will go on the hunt for some eggs again and we will try to find another frame of eggs that we can put in there. Um, and we will also check on the purple hive next week. And I think, I think I'm going to have to do a deep dive inspection in pretty much every one of my hives and it'll probably take all of next weekend to do that. Um, I will film as much of it as I can but I tell you what I thought I thought that all of the hives in the front row I thought those were all in good shape and I thought the back benchers I thought the ones back in the back were the ones that had the issues I thought I had done my splits everything was fine I kind of knew the status of all the hives I had no idea that the purple hive had a laying worker situation and now I'm afraid for some of the other hives. Now I have tipped the hives and they're all heavy so I do have honey and I know that they're I mean I can see lots and lots of bees going out and getting nectar so I'm going to have to uh, do a harvest here pretty soon. These bees are working 
but I don't know the status of all these hives, and I think it's about time that I found out. I, I can't, I can't continue the season and not know because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm losing hives. I mean, I'm this close to losing the purple hive. I, I hope that my whole queen solution works. I know that when I added a queen from the teal hive to red dawn, they promptly killed her. I mean, it was that was a wasted queen. I'm hoping that is not what's happening inside of the purple hive right now as the foraging bees come back and smell this new pheromone. I hope they're not attacking this queen. All right, well, there you go. If you like this video, do me a favor. Please give me the thumbs up. If you have something to say, please comment. And please, in the comments, let me know whether or not you think I have solved the, the purple hive laying worker situation satisfactorily, whether you think it's gonna work or whether you think it's not going to work. Um, be kind, I'm, I'm trying my best. I just know that what I did last time to solve the laying worker situation is not something I wanted to do this time. I don't wanna shake out all my bees. Um, I want to try to get a strong queen pheromone in there, not, uh, not just putting a queen, but a queen and three frames of her bees in there. Should get a strong pheromone of hers in that hive and should get everybody else on board and hopefully shut off the laying worker situation. And then everything should be right with the world, I hope. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about that. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit the, hit, my, hit the thumbs up. Give me two likes, hit the thumbs up twice, and then subscribe to the channel. Wait, wait, don't, no, no. If you're going to hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up three times. If you hit it twice, I think you'll turn it on and then turn it off and just turn it on, turn it off, then turn it back on again. So we'll have three likes, which will equal one like, and... When you're done with that, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to release a video every Friday. I try to have fun and keep it light here. And today it's, I mean, this was, this was light. It was a chaotic day. It's chaos in the bee yard, but well, I think the problem solved. And I'm, I'm glad you came along for the adventure. So with all that said, take care, be happy, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Have a great day.